Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome to your next Android tutorial. And this video we're going to go over what's something called the service, which is another part of Android system. So we've done activities, fragments, the application object, menus, and that's and the DB helper, or the Squally Open Helper, which is our helper class. Now when we get into doing the service, the service is essentially, we're going to start by creating one. So we're going to say new class and we're going to type in a service or Android service. And we're going to superclass a service object or subclass. There you go, service, done, finish. Okay. So it gives us two methods here and a constructor. Uh, we don't really need that. And uh, we don't really need the onBind method. It's irrelevant for our uses. However, okay, the service needs onBind. That's kind of annoying. I was not aware of this, but we can deal with it. So what is a service? Well, a service is essentially a background activity. It's a bit bizarre. But what you do is you start a service and what this actually makes is that a service runs in the background so you know maybe the Gmail app is a good example where it would periodically go off check against the Gmail servers uh, for emails download them to your device in the background so this is for running background tasks continuously on your device or in Android so the first thing we're going to do we're going to say cat override so first thing we're going to need and the override we're going to do is we're going to say public void and I oh know it's public int actually sorry and it's on start command now you could use on start but that's a depreciating method now of course the on start command we're missing actually a bunch of arguments so um, we'll go get those arguments now. So we're gonna have uh, the first parameter that's passed into a service is is the intent that started the service, int the flags, and a second int called a start ID. Now you can call these whatever you like, but um, that's what they're called. And then we have to add a return statement. Now the return is actually a certain value that modifies the start behavior. We'll get into that in a minute. So what happens when you uh, click, when you start a service? What actually happens? Well, the service will start up in the background and execute a task. Now first thing, threading, threading the um, service runs on the main thread of the app, which means that if you have something running in the background, it's gonna lock the device. That's bad. That's bad. <laughs> so what we're actually going to do is we're going to make a modification, or not a modification, a change to this, and we're going to start a thread. Okay. So we're just going to say uh, public. We're going to make a new thread down here actually. Class you know, private we'll say. Class, um, I know, toaster. You'll see why we call the toaster now in a minute. That really should have a capital letter. Toaster stands thread. And then we need our public. Void run method okay good so what we're going to do is um, we've done that we've created our thread and essentially what we're going to do is we're going to make this pop up a toast message we're going to say toast dot make text this Uh, this 
Next will just be service running. And duration, we're gonna get the constant. Toast dot length short. Ah, uh, that's right. We need to pass in a context. So I'm just gonna quickly create a constructor. Um, we don't have the context for this, so we're just gonna say uh, context. Context, context, and then we're just gonna say public toaster. And we're just going to quickly do that. Okay, so essentially what we're just doing is we're very quickly creating a context uh, for this. Kaboom. And then when we're going to start this now. Actually, we need to put in something else. We'll change it in a second. But anyway, we're going to have our service running. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in our context itself. All right, we're going to start this thread and then have and it should pop up a notification. In fact, I'm going to actually just open up our AVD. Start. Good. There we go. Yeah, that's booting up now nicely. So we're going to start this new thread. So we're going to say toaster. And we're going to say toast. We'll just call it pop up, I don't know. And then this is our context. Okay. Poster dot start. Okay, so we'll start our thread, and that should work. Ah, yes, we never call it dot show. I have something to do with it. Kaboom! So this is still booting up. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to make a little change to this. Uh, this will just display a message as normal. So we're actually going to modify this and we're going to make a while loop. While true. So as you know that creates an infinite loop. Anyone who knows that will know. So we'll just pop our toast in there. Job done. Then we're going to just type in thread dot sleep. And we're going to make a sleep for uh, five seconds. So the thread that sleep will now we have to put this with a try catch block. It's kind of annoying, but we've already done threading and that's sleeping already. So essentially, what this is going to do is it's going to run, make a toast, sleep the thread for five milliseconds, so it'll relinquish those CPU cycles, start up again, run again and again and again. So essentially, what we're doing here is we're just creating a loop here that'll run forever until we stop it. So that's that unlocked. So we're going to. Uh, We'll run, actually we need to now. How do you start a service? Good question. Um, I'm gonna go to multi-threading, okay? Now remember we have pause main thread and that's our button and that's our file down here. So if we get our drawable, our layout, multi-threading. <coughs> and our pause UI thread. So we're actually gonna edit the string for this. Um, just take a quick look at the properties. So it's pause, main thread is the string so we go values you probably can't see this but we'll open up the strings xml file yeah so we're just gonna say start service down here okay save no bother and we'll actually very quickly add a button 
that'll stop the service as well. Because the service will run for infinity that will. So I'm going to say stop. Service. Save. Get rid of that. We'll add a button in here. Form widgets. Just quick button. Edit. No, oh, bugger. Edit text. Stop service. Done. And we're going to include the on click property. On click equals, and then we'll just type uh, stop service. And this will we'll make that a capital. And we'll say this will be called start service. Save. And then if we just say here, remember pause main thread, we're just going to change this to service. And then we're just going to copy paste this and make it stop service. We need to get rid of this try catch nonsense. Okay, so how do we start a service? Well, you start it with almost the same way as you start an activity, with an intent. And new intent, remember this. Now we need our service. It's called Android service. Service. Dot class. Job done. Now, how do we actually start the, the service itself? We have to use a call called start service and pass the intent into that. Okay. or the internet, as I'm calling it for some reason. And we can copy and paste this into here and to stop the service, you've probably guessed it, it's stop service intent. So this is gonna start and stop our service. <coughs> now the last thing we need to do is of course, add our service to the manifest. So I'm just gonna here add service, and we need to wait for it to pop up. And it'll say yeah, Android service. Save. Check the actual manifest. Ah, where are you? There, service. Yep, job done. So now we've got our Android service registered in the manifest. So we're going to run this and see how it runs. And what should happen is, uh, it should pop up totes notifications every five seconds. Now I'm not 100% sure if this will work actually, because there may become an error here, okay? Yeah, there's an error. I think I'm trying to modify the UI thread. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a problem, but what we'll do is uh, we'll just make this log, okay? I know, just say service. And a message will log is, right now running.
Yep, so now that should work better. But what happened now is I was trying to modify the UI thread, I think. Yeah, I was trying to, mod I'm trying to make something appear in the UI from a separate thread. Android goes, no, because that's not allowed. That's forbidden in Android's books. You never, ever, ever modify the UI thread. The UI from the secondary thread. I was ideally going to have a more practical thing popping up, but if we start the service, there we go. So if I drag this up, okay. Now you actually won't be able to see this for a little bit, but I'll zoom the video out and whoops, and you'll be able to see running cat. Service running and another one will appear now in a second. See? So that tells us that our service is now running correctly. So if we click stop service, Oh, it stopped. <laughs> no doubt that. Ah. Uh, I think I misspelled something. Oh, great. What happened now? There we go, I think I just misspelled that. Where's our logcat gone? Where the hell is our logcat doing up there? But as you can see, it's still running the service. But look at that, look, our service is still running, even when the app shut off. Something also you'll be aware of, services run all the time. So if we reinstall the app, the service will naturally be stopped and then you'll see it'll, that'll stop the service then by the stop service intent call. So that guys is services. Um, there's another type of service called the intent service, which is a very useful service for fetching stuff from the internet. We'll do that in the future. But if I just press start service. Yeah, so as you can see, look. We're getting a running or is appearing again. If I click stop service, it should stop. There we go now. Another one won't appear. Okay, they will appear. But I'll tell you, do you do start and stop a service like that?